And we're there in we chant select. Bada boom, bada bing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> I look real good on stream. I'm a bunch of champions. You get to be a bunch of champions today. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> we fixed all of our issues we had. Look at that, the Ezreal ban. No one's going to play as real or Vayne in this game. We are pushing out the ADCs all day. Mm -hmm. I, I hope they do a Jinx ban next. Oh, man, there's Vi. We got the sister. We don't have Jinx, though. I, I'd like to... If they could if they could appeal to me, that'd be fantastic. I would, I would absolutely adore the team who bans Jinx. Is anyone going to do it? Going once, going twice. I bet you won't ban Heimerdinger. <laughs> I bet you won't do it. There's a Nami ban. All right. I bet they won't ban Akali either. I bet they won't ban Mundo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Trendsetters. Oh, no, they banned Fizz. <laughs> They're not setting any trends tonight. No Mundo ban, no Garen ban. No Hecarim ban, no Mordekaiser ban. Y'all are leaving me dry. Here we go. Do, 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 do. And there's a Cassiopeia ban. And that one, I believe we've seen that ban before against Trendsetters. We have. Mm hmm. That's, a, that's always a good target ban. We got Maokai first pick on Trendsetter, so they're going to probably be looking for that early game jungle because Maokai does a great job coming out of the jungle at level 3 with his snare and his little pop-up. And then on purple team, we got the Amumu and the Sivir. And if you guys haven't seen the patch notes that are coming out for the next patch, it's going to be a massive patch. It's, everything's going to be coming through. All the trinkets, all the support changes, just everything. And Sivir is actually being met with a couple of early game, or excuse me, early game nerfs. So we'll be seeing a reduction in the damage to Boomerang Blade. However, it will be scaling with total AD. So late game, it should be doing more. <laughs> and we got Anonymous Thug going on to Lucian again. I believe we saw him play Lucian the other night. And then Rainbow Gummy Bear is currently hovering over the Sona pick. <laughs> Everybody look at the stream. I found Yasashi's pick. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I feel like they're... <laughs> this, this is one of our Photoshop wars. It's it's fantastic. Yes. If you so, guys would like... <laughs> Frederick? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to go ahead and plug uh, one of our... Uh, one of our good friends, Poison TV. Um, they uh, they do a whole lot of StarCraft 2 casts and, uh, and League casts over in the UK... And any any of the EU West and East games that go on, they're they're pretty strong in there. And, and we had a Photoshop Wars with them one day with Yasashi's face, and it was great. <laughs> and uh, this this pick right here, oh, he picks Mundo. He he likes you. He's calling it out, <laughs> hovering over, anyways. But so we oh Renekton Zyro. Oh, quick change. Heartbreaker. Heart. Yeah, that that was painful. Safety. You did that just to yep. hurt Yasashi. I know you did. Yeah, exactly. Look at this face. Look how. It's just unwavering. It doesn't move. He's so sad. I'm so stunned. <laughs> stunned in the <laughs> awe. Currently oh, being CC'd by the lack of moon, though. However. Dokopath. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see the pamp. But anyways, just to, uh, to, <laughs> to kind of you know, uh, add on to what Rhetoric was saying, if you guys like to do Photoshop Wars, and if you guys would like to photoshop war my face you can join us at the thunderdog esports forum and yeah come check us out over there we have lots of fun on our forums 
we do stuff like my profile picture and make me feel really awkward. And, and then they talk and talk, oh, they ain't got Laughing at that, smiling. <laughs> no, Oompagism. No, it's it's big, it's big, big, three big S's and then little three S's, but no space. No space. <laughs> That. There we go. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, rage against the machine. Thank you very much, Gunby, for posting the link to the forms. I appreciate it, Gunby. Everyone, his name is actually Gunby. Do not pronounce it as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, Master Sting, is gonna not pick. You gonna pick? You being tricky? <laughs> Switch back. Pick. Uh, Lulu. Cast. If you master Sting, if you go Caston, I will. If you go AD Caston, I will give you my love. I don't. I. I didn't want to. Oh man! <laughs> There's a zero. Oh, no! Nice. Oh, wait. No, they traded. Tricky. Like, wow, out. he picked Zyra. That's two Zyras in the game. <laughs> Broken hacks. <laughs> Ban, you too, Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh -oh. got, uh, as Tic Tac for us, we do have that last uh, RP card tonight. Um, maybe, if you guys are good, and I don't have to turn this bus around again. It's my angry dad face. <laughs> you drive a bus and you're a father? Hey, <laughs> what? Hey. It's a it's a Nissan bus, all right. Let it go. Awesome. <clears throat> but let's let's take a take take a look at these picks real quick. Actually, no, I'd like to take a look at Twitch chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> two Zyras pro. <laughs> two two Zyras. Yeah. You know, one thing one thing that I actually like about the OGN tournaments, the Korean tournaments, is that whenever they do best out of five, if it does go down to the fifth game, they do blind pick. And you'll always see, you know, two Zeds, two Shens, and those jokes are... That's where those jokes actually come from, so it's pretty awesome. Hey, con congratulations to Proceeding. His Pidgey actually leveled up. Nice. Very good. Bye, safety. Well, Have a good game. <laughs> We're going to be talking about your game while you guys play, so go ahead, have fun. 5 AP of Z. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> nice. Yeah, guys. Um, I like this game, and talking about it is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> That's why we're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, everybody that's in here that was in here, excuse me, on Monday, Do is Yasashi sounding better, and is there any echo whatsoever in here? Yes. That's one thing I want to make sure that we're good. <laughs> and to, uh, to do a true sound check, I will, I will sing to you. <clears throat> Hold on. Why you gotta make things so complicated? Oh, yeah. Did that, did that sound good? I'm pretty... How the sound guys? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tika approves. Okay. She just called me God. Oh, God. Oh, Goward. It's Goward. Uh, Goward. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. <laughs> All the single ladies. Put your hands up. <laughs> Yo, Beyonce. Should have put a ring on it, Yasashi. If Man, you wanted it. I I guess I don't want it. I, I really don't. If you'd like it, you gotta put a ring on it, homie. <laughs> Digital sexy till death. I've never heard... Here, I'll play it for you, because I've never heard it. Ever. What? What's that one joke about uh, about Saturn? Uh, God liked it, so God put a ring on Saturn, or something. Something dumb like that. Is there but any anyways, remix? Proceeding, is there any remix you like in particular? The Night Core Remix, not to be confused with the Day Core. The Day Core Remix is Leona's Remix, it's her favorite. Okay, Night Core. Yep. Okay, okay, he likes on. that. <laughs> Sorry, though. Yeah. 
I know you guys can't tell, but I'm actually dancing so fast that I'm not moving. Oh. I'm pretty <laughs> skilled in that. Red just burned like 9,000 calories. <laughs> the guy on the right is amazing at dancing. You're just jealous. It's true. And here we go. We are at the black screen of death. <laughs> if it ever wants to load. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and now we go not connecting ever no one's connected <laughs> there we go so red how, what what do you think about these uh, these team comps that we've got going here what oh sorry i was too busy <laughs> the, i like i like that team composition right there it's yasashi on half of the top <laughs> team <laughs> Three Yasashi's Pantheon and Brands. You can't, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> Yasashi actually has this really cool ult, and uh, what what it does is it it it. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I don't know what I do. What would my ult be? Your <laughs> ult? It'd be really bad singing, and it would make it would force oh, everyone okay. to pop their ultimate right then. <laughs> it's actually the opposite of Sona. It's, it's a, <laughs> not crescendo, it's a dim diminuendo. Diminuendo. And what happens is... <laughs> no, really, that's what it does. It, it forces every character to pop their ult immediately where they stand. <laughs> How annoying would that be? <laughs> I'd pop my ult for you. Yes, hey guys, this is Poison TV. This is what I was talking about. Here you go. I don't know if you got to see this. Oh, yeah. I like right. how you're strobing that in and out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and it looks like that we've got a pause going down, but it is currently unpausing. There we go. Unpaused. All right. So what's going to happen is these people are going to leave base, maybe after they buy some items. Rand Possibly. may stay there. We're not sure yet. Now, take, let, let's go ahead and take a look at the gold. They're, they're bo both teams are sitting at 2.4 k gold that means that both supports took the additional gold in the utility tree so that actually even on gold very 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 close match right here the cs the creep score zero across the board perfect not, everyone's not equal good job well i mean we're 45 seconds into the game rhetoric and no one's done anything <laughs> just really heartbreaking this is good though as you see here safety x he is holding down this bush but I'm not sure if it's his internal lava that's causing it to be so bright in there. I don't know. Usually, whenever lava con comes into contact with a bush, it it burns. So I don't know what this uh, this Zerith is doing. It's pretty crazy though. Magical fire. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing with Brand. Both of them are in bushes, but there is a large lack of fire. It's because it's not dead, Yasashi. It's live grass they can stand in. And I'm not sure about this red buff that they're going to be sitting on, but I think it's going to die really quickly. Look at all these saplings. They're ready to explode on contact, looking for this red buff to pop up. Mm -hmm. Boy, are they ready to explode. Look at them. They're, I'm going to get it. To, they're ready to pop their ult like poison TV. And oh, no. And we get an invade going on here. Zyra goes and picks up. Brand, there's a flash down. Just an auto attack gets on there. Mumu is looking to snatch something up. He might get attacked by these little... Here it goes. They're in. Let's get this red. You guys can do it. Red on this side. Purple just did not expect anybody to be there. Obviously, they came in here not expecting a fight at all. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. That was probably that was one of the better invades, forcing them to leave. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty low Purple, key invade there. Bottom no side, breath. real quick. We have Zyra coming in, automatically getting Lucian. Q off from Sivir. It's a, a lot of damage. It's a really good oh. trade, except Zyra and Lucian both real low. That was that was very close. Plant Lady was in trouble there, but she just happily walked away. And there, no 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 summoners burned in that exchange. I'm pretty surprised. They they did a good job keeping their calm. And you often see that where a, a summoner is burned prematurely, and it's just unfortunate. But good thing, good job Zyra for being brave. Yes, Zyra also stayed alive. You eating her biscuit? And Pantheon is putting a little bit of damage on Renekton this early game, and that's going to... Ooh, he's watching bottom again. They're going in for trade. Silver's Boomerang Blade misses. 
not too much of a big deal. You look at uh, look at Amumu here. Amumu has double buffs and is ready to go in. Probably moving down here for a little gank because I do not see any wards. Oh, there's a Sona ward. It's a good ward. We're going to see if he decides to walk over this tribe bush or not. Mm -hmm. And there goes Zyra. She's probably going to ward this bush herself also. But unfortunately, there wasn't a pink there. But here comes Amumu grabbing Lucian through the wall, landing a lot of damage. And there's Sivir's boomerang blade also doing a little bit of damage. And they're going to... Oh! They, they decide not to go for that early game dive and they end up turning around. But they laid a lot of damage into the Sona and Lucian. Very good stuff there. Maokai's walking around, and uh, now they know they're there because of this war that just popped up. So Sivir knows she's going to try to get out of here. She's very low life. Phoenix might have a hard time getting out of here. Just got snared up. Amum is here to save the day. Goes in. Flash out by the Maokai. Ooh. Done first blood. Amumu. Amumu is going to hurt. A brand is down here. Also throw on some damage. This... Ooh, this might be wow. a little bit... Wow. This is good. They're good. They backed off. Intelligent. Purple's playing very smart, and being careful. Mm -hmm. v very early roam from Brand right there. It looks like that he's been having a little a hard a harder time than he expected in mid lane against Zareth. Because look, he's burned all of his potions already and he's currently down seven creep score. So he decided to come by and apply a little bit of pressure down there to make sure that purple didn't continue pursuing underneath the tower. There you go. Poise TV, that's the image you want. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, bottom lane is doing a good job uh, staying there. A lot of times when you see uh, the, f the first type of trades happen, ADC will get real low, um, roughly around 25%, and then he'll back. And the problem with that is you lose a lot of experience and CS possibility. And that's what I was wondering is going to happen, is was he going to stay in lane and get his CS and get his experience, or if he was going to back off uh, whenever they had the Zyra versus him uh, initial. Luckily, he stayed in. He's Looking at his, uh, he's level 4 above, now he's 1 level above Sivir. And the CS, 29, oh, I need to move this. Yeah, and the, the CS, the creep score lead is currently 13 in favor of Lucian. He's 29 to 16. And also, in, in top lane, Renekton's doing a surprisingly great job holding off against this Renekton. He's, the CS just now evened up, and Renekton was forced to back early. He did burn his teleport, so he won't, be have, he won't have that for a couple minutes to help other lanes, unfortunately. This uh, Zerath, I'm really, I'm really excited for his, uh, his changes. Absolutely, I I I am scary. also. Yeah, Renekton, Renekton's doing a good job pushing on here. Surprisingly, now did I was uh, I stepped away? Did you happen to see if Pantheon had to leave because of low health, or did he just back to get items? Well, what what ended up happening is Pantheon wasn't necessarily at low health, but he decided to go back because of. Renekton actually went back and burned Teleport to come back into lane. So I'm pretty sure he went back to just to even up the items, and I believe he was out of Crystalline Flask charges, so he needed some sort of sustain against Renekton. And there he goes, just with the harass stun, going in and out. Good job by Pantheon. Now, on bottom here, we have Lethal Mongoose and Yutuku Safety X. They're going in bottom, taking the double golems from blue side. Going to come in here for a double gank against Lucian, uh, Anonymous Thug, and Rainbow Gun Gummy Bear. We do have a Maokai, oh, but it's going to be 3v4. Where's the damage going to come in down? They're really pushing down Sona hard. We have a... St Barriers popped on Lucian to save away from the ultimate from Zerath. His missile barrage... Or, excuse me, his uh, arcane barrage. And why? Yep, Maokai goes down. Maokai gets down, actually, from uh, from his Q. From, uh, what's... Yeah, Zerath's Q, what's it called? Arcana Pulse. I don't see Zerath mm -hmm. very often. That's unique. Arcana Pulse. Arcane barrage. Mm -hmm. I like the And names. zip... <laughs> Zareth did an awesome job just taking Lucian out of that fight. He he blew all of his spells on them and tried executing Lucian with Arcane Barrage, but Lucian was able to get away by using his Flash, and just having that, that play down there in bot lane enabled Purple Team to pick up that Dragon, which is going to increase their global gold by about 3k right now. That's true. And 3k, as I always say, that's how many BF swords? That's two. <laughs> right there. Mm. And I mean, how many how many potions is three K? That's 
Oh my That's goodness, a lot That's of 100 potions. <laughs> Think about the possibility of having 100 potions in your inventory. Uh, you can't, it's not even possible, is it? No. <laughs> no, you can only have five. <laughs> yeah, sell all your items, guys. Get potions. <laughs> Yasashi wisdom. <laughs> hey, I'm a firm believer in potions. They, they let you stay in lane longer. My best friend is a potion. Good guy, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, so if I mispronounce it, Lean Oil, I apologize. But given Bran that blue is going to secure uh, the availability, availability for cooldown against Zerath, Zerath automatically has really short cooldowns, so he has to be able to combat that with a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Zerath actually picked up triple Dorn's ring, so he hasn't really had an Amanda problem ever since he's gotten those. So he'll be able to really stay in lane against Bran with no problem. The good thing for Bran is that he actually got 7 off of that blue buff, so he was able to even up the levels in that one. That was good. When Ecton is rotating bottom, looks like he's trying to come in for a little bit of a gank on Bran. Is he going to come in from short side? No. Yeah. Oh, and... Had a ping. Pantheon's coming down to join. Yep. Pantheon ults onto Zerath. Renekton has to make a smart move here to get a save on. Ooh! Flash is going to live from this. Not enough damage. Comes in with a... Uh, Curse the Sad Mummy and the Bandit Shots on Brand. He's real low. Zerath, even lower, almost gets hit by that pirate. Wow, this is insane. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go. Let's go for uh, Pantheon. He has a little bit of a block coming in, but... Maokai can come in and save. I'm not sure. Renekton does have the damage to do quite a bit of damage on top of Pantheon and Maokai. Bandage Cross comes in. Tears are just ripping him apart. Renekton oh. gets stunned. You have to back <laughs> off. Wow, that was really great stun by Pantheon being able to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Good good save by Maokai coming in there a little later than the enemy jungler did, Amumu. But he was able to salvage it and get Pantheon out there alive. So that was a one for one exchange. And in bot lane, just a lot of the pressure coming down from purple team. Lucian does end up going down to Zyra. And now she's going to pressure this lane all by herself against the Sona. Sona is that under half health, so she's got to be careful. Amun coming from behind. He's going to... Oh, and that was pretty simple. He just came up from behind her. Didn't even use bandage toss. And he her. gave... Yeah, exactly. And just gave the kill to Sivir. Good pick up there. So now we're sitting 1-6 to six now. Heavy on UQ2. Uh, excuse me, U2Q. <laughs> Listexia coming in strong. And, <laughs> and Brand's going to come in and try to help out bottom lane. However, middle lane is going to be... They're going to be a little bit of pain. Middle lane is going to get taken down, not taken down immediately, but um, Zara's going to be able to do damage onto it pretty strong as Brand is in bottom lane. Maokai might be able to come in and help it a little bit, but it's going to get a lot of damage done to it. Mm-hmm. Now... And if and if, if they're able to open this up, that's going to open up even more map pressure from Purple. They're already sitting at a 5k gold lead, and that's just from kills in that early dragon pickup. So we're looking at, if they get this early tower, that's just going to accelerate them into mid-game. Yeah, and you know, this is kind of unique. Looking at U2Q's uh, fighting style is they're very good at going in and staying out of their lane somehow while being able to keep their lanes up, keeping their towers up. Even though they do have a little bit of damage on them, they've had plenty of, of very unique ganks having mid and jungle at the same time, making it a 4v3 if the other side jungler, if uh, blue side, trendsetters comes in. Renekton is taking a lot of damage from Pantheon still. That's probably why he's roaming so much, is that he needs these the kills. There's yeah. and Bottom lane also is doing the ward roars. Zyra and Sona have been going back and forth with their vision wards in jungle as well as the tribush there. Yeah. Unfortunately for blue team, Zyra isn't the only one warding. They've done a great job getting really deep wards into the blue side of the jungle. Check that out. They've got four wards in it. Well, now three because the one that red buff just disappeared. So purple team's doing a great job just keeping their eye on Maokai, making sure he can't really do anything. Lucian's going to have a hard time here. He He's pushing really hard for... Uh the sustain but the damage is he got the pickaxe on the other side Sivir as long as she stays a little bit of AD ahead then she's going to be able to duel him pretty well because Sivir is a great duelist now and here comes Maokai from behind he gets spotted by the ward and Zyra and Sivir are on their way back already so that's going to really deter Maokai from doing anything and he's just going to go salvage his go <laughs> double gold from that 
Now, the difference with these type of ganks, here comes Sivir, they're going to duel in. Blades come up. This, that's what I was talking about. You see that duel, really simple, puts on a spell shield and just throws on as much damage as possible. And without the healing of, of Sona, Sivir is going to be able to 1v1 all day. Maokai's going to come mm -hmm. in. This is a great timing for Genki. Came around side. Zyra is getting hurt from the culling just a little bit. We do have an Amumu come in. Crescendo comes down, hits Sivir and Zyra. Missed the banished toss on Amumu. Oh. Ultimate comes down from Sivir to be able to get the, uh, the uh, attack speed. Whoa! Zerath comes in, throws down his uh, Arcana Pulse, throws down his, uh, his Arcane Barrage, and just three deaths immediately for zero on purple side. They're going to push down this tower. As well as oh, middle is look like it's about to go down as well for the blue side. This is very strong in U2Q's favor. Very, very impressive showing by purple team. Once again, unwilling to quit, just doing great rotations all over the map. They did pick Plus. up that bot tower, and now they're going to go pick up another dragon for themselves. Now, this is totally legit. They may need just a few... Oh, okay, Renoa needed to connect. We need a little bit of time to uh, to get back and maybe regroup. They do have a, a few minutes of, of pause time, just to make sure they can talk here. Uh, they do need they need to get their, their schedule down and find out who needs to go where and pay attention to what's going on, get some wards out and some good uh, defensive mm -hmm. wards, which Purple has warded pretty much the planet. Ab absolutely. And so l let's let's talk about the team compositions real quick. Purple, unwilling to quit, has a very strong AOE team composition right now. They've got the Amu ultimate to, to initiate. They've got Zyra following up with her ultimate to, for the pop-up. They've got Sivir being Sivir, because Sivir's AOE damage is off the chain right now with her bouncing boomerang, or excuse me, her boomerang and her ricochet. And then Zareth can come in and ult right behind that, and then... Renekton's in the middle of all doing damage with his ultimate. It's incredible how much damage they can lay down all together as a team. It is true. And they're going to come back here in five seconds, but I'm going to continue on this team play as they they take down this dragon because it has to be uncontested. Now, the the what they have going for uh, the trendsetters here is Lucian, not with his ult calling, just with his basic uh, abilities, are going to they're going to be able to put on plenty of damage as long as they can bring out the Sivir or uh, anyone Sivir or Zerath, anyways. And then uh, Pantheon could come in at any point in time he wants to. He's actually doing pretty well. Brand lays down plenty of damage, but that crescendo that's going to be the key. When a team fights happens, the crescendo is going to be really key to make stopping a lot of this AOE damage from U2Q. Mm -hmm. and, and on top of that, they have Maokai's ultimate, which reduces all damage taken by 20%. So that'll definitely help them sustain a little longer against this full AoE composition. Now, Lucian hasn't bought anything since about six minutes ago. He's sitting on 1,200. I'm not. I'm gonna take a stab at it. I'm assuming he's gonna be picking up the uh, best friend sword. Most Man. likely. Renoa just said that she, uh, Renoa can't even play because there's probably a, a large yeah, mm -hmm. 500 to 10k ping the whole time. That's rough. Oh man, those connectivity issues. That's that's really rough. And here Hopefully. we go. Purple team coming in. They do end up dropping Maokai. Brand uses his ultimate to turn them away. They do end up backing off. But man, Purple team just caught Maokai out in the jungle and burned him down. And they're going to keep on pressing. They're most likely going to go push for this red over here. We're going to give it to Sivers and have double buffs. Renekton is just playing heavy with uh, with his ultimate. He's doing his Dominus on top of the tower. Gets, ig gets ignited, but he's going to... Nope, he needed two more ticks to take him off. Man, and that that was kind of a ballsy dive right there by Renekton. He, he that could have been very bad news for him had he taken a little more tower damage, but fortunately that stun from Pantheon doesn't last too long, so he was able to make it out there alive. And here comes Amumu from behind in the mid on top of Lucian and Sona. He's applying a little bit of pressure just to kind of scare them off. A little bit of damage. Just something to push him back a little bit. We did have Zareth in there. If they just maybe waited a, a few seconds longer, they might have been able to do something. But Maokai was there. So Mumu's going to again go in this jungle. He's he's doing a really good job. I'm going to really MVP this Mumu right now. He's been re doing a really good job pushing hard into their jungle and putting lots of wards down for them as well. 
Yeah, and if you take a look at his his kills and assists, he has one kill and six assists, and he so that means that he's been part of seven kills total out of the ten kills that Unwilling to Quit has. He's been doing a great job showing his presence all over the map. So I I agree with you. MVP so far goes to Am Amumu. We're gonna watch so, top. This is quite possibly going to take down top lane from Trendsetters, the E2Q. I'm going to look, walk little lane, eh, watch middle lane a little bit. Woo! And so, uh, excuse me, Sivir's going to go and do as much damage as possible on this Panthan. going to take him down to try to get out of the tower lane. Tower, wow, and Zerath just eats Maokai up. Zerath throws down the wow. ultimate Lucian but misses. Kuling comes in and does a little bit of damage. Amum is most likely going to try to bandage Tussin. Will not be able to because Lucian is free. Oh! oh inches. Barely! <laughs> Amumu is just, still sad. Just barely made it out of there, but wow. No hugs. Uh, Sivir had a pretty impressive play right there. She did perfect timing on her spell shield against Maokai, so she could go ahead and flash in there and pick up that kill on Pantheon. And Zerith looking very strong right now. He's already got his Rabidon's death cap. That's going to allow them to either... That's going to allow him to do either massive amounts of team damage, or another thing Zerith excels at is just picking people off when he catches them out. So that And that's going to happen. As soon as he gets his changes, it's going to happen even worse. Exactly. And that half a map ult all over the place. <laughs> and here comes Pantheon in mid behind. Oh, he jumps in on Zerith. Zerith is forced to flash away. Zerith turns around and just nukes the whole enemy team. Malka is the only one left in this. Oh, and there's Lucian going in there a little too deep. He's going to take a lot of damage from Amumu. Amumu is going to dive him underneath the tower. And, oh, there's the last tick of health right there from Amumu. It ends up taking down Lucian. And that's a four for one exchange in favor of Unwilling to Quit. Which is, they reverted Zerath's changes? I did not know that. Now I'm sad. That's that's heartbreaking. I thought it's yeah. okay. So they took it away from BBE too. That's depressing. Wow. But anyways, that team fight allowed Purple Team to take that middle inhibitor tower, and they're gonna pick the, up the first inhibitor of the game, and that's just gonna create global pressure for Purple Team because all those minions on their end are gonna be a lot stronger. So. Blue team really needs to get this stuff together. Needs to start rolling as a team. Your User left your channel. Okay. <laughs> All right. I <laughs> uh, thought we were gonna have a uh, co a Coco cast. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a nice treat. Yeah. That was uh that was Wolfman. That was our uh, <laughs> our CEO's husband. He wanted to come say hi, but then he got scared. He left. You guys scared him away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now now we've got purple team just looking extremely strong. The gold difference is at 15k, and now now it's at 16k about. So they they just have all the gold in the world. And here comes Sivir just being brave, doing a lot of damage onto Malkai all alone that mid lane. She does not care. She's very fearless right now, especially with her Bloodthirster and Last Whisper. She got him to come in there, and Renekton was just sitting waiting, playing that bait and switch game. And Mumu's gonna come around the other side, misses his banished toss, but he's super fast because of Sivir's amazingness. Trying to come in here, lays down that curse, gets stuck in here, tries to do Ooh. some damage, but he just cannot do anything. This is game, yeah. surrender's gonna be called. Oh man. And that that game right there, even though there were a little, there were some connectivity issues, I don't think that really mattered in the long run because Purple Team was looking strong right from the start, making the right calls, the right rotations, working together as a group pretty much six minutes into the game, and they were picking up kills at the bot lane left and right. Uh, uh, good game, deal with it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with you. That was it was a very strong game on uh, unwilling to quit side. They did a really good job rotating uh, uniquely, and you know the pre scene here. <laughs> good game. Yeah, no problem. I don't mind streaming at all. Yep, we that was really, really good. So since we're here, I'm trying to find the channel. Since we're here, we got 17 folks in here. Not sure how many people are actually in the channel, but I was wondering if you guys, just for coming out tonight, would you like $10 uh, RP card or no? I 
would like some. Oh, Toxic Shroom wants some. I guess. Toxic Shroom sure. is back. Toxic Shroom? Alright, stand by. Let me, uh, let me pull up. Let me pull up the gift. The gift. You know, I always feel like that I am forever going to be organizing my friend list on League of Legends. There's always a random patch out there that ruins my entire friends list, and I'm always sitting here redoing, reorganizing everything because I'm very crazy. Hello, preceding. Safety, yes. The players are allowed to receive RP. But, you, as Tic Tac Fresh is saying, you do need to follow the channel. On the bottom left-hand side of the screen there for um, the channel, it says follow. It's purple. Just push the button. Ta-da! Everybody quick, I'm about to roll the dice after All you know right. how it goes. Do, no, no, do no, we no, need no, the no, drum? No. Oh, we, need, we need the countdown. Like, that's... It's, it's 10 RP. $10 RP. Alright. Let's, right, let's, all, let's all work together and, and count. Countdown from 10. I'll, I'll provide background music. I was a little early on that, but I'll do it again. Ooh, proceeding! There we go. Proceeding. Congratulations. Oh, snap! Apparently, Proceeding's real name is Tyler. Oh, Hello, Tyler. You've been exposed. Hey, Tyler. I know who you are now, Tyler. Tyler. You know who else knows who you are? <laughs> Good job. Yes, Sashi knows. Every, everyone, everyone type in congratulations, Tyler, in the chat. <laughs> Deal with it. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad that picture is coming into use. All right, guys. All righty. Proceeding. So, Tyler is OP. Go ahead and send me a message on Twitch. I need your email address, please, so I can send you your $10 while I'm singing. It's special. <laughs> Whenever I think of the name Tyler, I think of Steven Tyler. And then I think of a song that I would like to sing to you, Rhetoric. Okay. I'm gonna mute you real fast. Go ahead and say no. no. <laughs> 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 Tyler, this song reminds me of Osu. Or Osa. Alright, proceeding. Osu. Yeah, that's totally an Osu song. So, hey, I just want to know how many of you guys. I'm doing a little test here. I, I asked yesterday, but I don't know how many of you guys were actually in here from last time. If I made an ARAM, get ARAM tournament, how many of you would join it and play? Looks like, uh, Sashi would. Well, ARAM, actually, that's that's been a, a thought, is all blind all mid as opposed to ARAM. Hold on, I gotta get over. A Bam versus A Ram. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up there. A Bam versus A Ram. Yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna do. Actually, Gunbay, do me a favor. Go on to our um, go on to League of Legends tournaments and write make a A Bam or A Ram one. I call being on the A Bam team. Well, yeah. <laughs> I actually would like to see who would rather play A Ram or A Bam. Yeah, and if we did an A BAM, we could do bands and everything also for that. Yeah, no kidding. So that would be awesome. Hey, Andromeda Diane, you want to go ahead and link that song to everyone? <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the best. Sounds like, sounds like Gunbay. Just, just wait till you see the song. is going on anyway just to uh, have a little bit of a close out here guys uh, my name is rhetoric 
and my co-cast Yusashi. We... I'm going to throw this up here real quick. And we got Yusashi and Rhetoric. My name is, for Twitter, is twitter.com slash tdog underscore rhetoric, and his is yasashi underscore lol. And we're looking for more followers, guys. Go ahead and join us up. We have random pictures, random drawings. Um, I'm an artist. I'm, I'm trying to get into Riot as an artist one day, so follow me, and then I can tell everyone how awesome I am, and I'll yes. just link all of your profiles. Yes. And, uh, and speaking on that, I have some really neat ideas coming in here at the end of this top dog. I... Uh, Give you a little hint. It has to do with skins and making mm. unique ones. Maybe. Silky smooth, milky smooth skin. A W S M. Awesome. Am I right? What? Awesome. Hold on, I need to. Where's Where's the channel here? Bitch. I'll send you your um, your picture after this. Congratulations! Proceeding. You have been selected to take part in our anonymous survey. Please take our. Go away! I put Twitch.com, not Twitch.tv. Don't do that. I'll never do that. <laughs> Messages. W would you guys yeah. like to see more of Rhetoric and I on a daily basis, by any chance? Yeah. Would you see like to do that? Pretty faces. I'm not so pretty. I got a beard. I'm a man. It's manly. Huh. I have manly faces. Toxic Trim wants to see more of us. I I would deliver for Toxic Trims. I would yeah. I would stream just for him. What? Sea Nanners? You look like the Sea Nanners. What? What's the Sea Nanner? Is that a sea banana? Know. What is that? I used to call bananas nanners. Is that a is sea that banana? Sea banana. Sea banana. <laughs> Come up. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm nervous. If it has anything to do with sea bananas. <laughs> This may or may not be devastating. Oh, he's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber, huh? YouTuber. Sweet. All right, fellas. Yeah, that's um, that's about it. I don't know if you guys want to uh, pull off uh, another ARAM that's just with Yusashi and I this time. That would be pretty awesome. You guys want to do that? Something crazy? Mm -hmm. Something crazy. Well, Oompa Jism's in the queue already. Looks like he's gonna gonna hit that rank a little bit. Nice. All right, yeah, here it is. Here's a uh, link. It's ARAM or ABAM tournaments. Por que no las dos? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I like that, Renoa. Squall is dead. <laughs> Squall is dead. Nice. By the way... If you guys would like, I am currently accepting friend requests from anyone who has the audacity to send me one. There you go. <laughs> friend request. Come be friends with me so when I become famous in stream, you guys can be like, look, I'm on his friend list. That's Yasashi. We love oh, him. He's so cool. He's so beautiful. I just, I really want to touch his pretty hair. His shiny hair. Shout out to Poison TV. I don't TV. Like you, Dom. <laughs> yeah, Dom, I don't know where he is, but he's awesome. <laughs> Sometimes. Very limited awesomeness coming from Dom. Very, very limited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Thanks, guys. Sad face. Listen, his awesomeness is only limited by the amount of women swooning over his English accent. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys like to watch StarCraft 2, go check out his stream. They, I, I believe that they frequently stream StarCraft 2. They do an awesome job at it. So go check them out. Sometimes. Not all the time. It almost makes it worth staying up until 3 a.m. Listen, his voice is so swoony that I swoon. I'm like, hmm, Dom. Mm. Yeah. Like that. I swoon, you swoon, we all <laughs> swoon for, for swoon? Ice Doom. <laughs> no. Shock is Dom's number one fan girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It that guy got punched in the mu in the eye. <laughs> I got I, I, he got punched so hard that my picture's not there anymore. It's yeah. just black. Scary. Sweet. All right. Uh, what was your name? I forgot. But uh, who got that? Not you, Yusashi. Shh. Uh, I forgot his name, but he won the thing. 
Congratulations to proceeding slash Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> I like how he typed. <laughs> Thanks. Proceeding. Well played. Well played. Proceeding. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Ugh, stretching. Ugh. But yeah, guys. Ugh. When's the next time we stream? Monday. It's coming Monday. Yeah, right? Monday. Monday yeah, stream guys. week three. Uh, as of right now, let me uh, let me go over this real quick. Uh, I'm gonna put post this up anyways, but I'm gonna go over it because I'm that cool. As of right now. People who are on top for the Noxus side is Ex Machina, TK Gaming, Temporal Shift Gaming, and Crescent Prides. Ionia has... Whew, there's a lot of people on Ionia. Team 510, Cyberpunk X, Nexus Genesis, OP Force. Oops, excuse me. Yeah. Where are you guys at? I'm willing to quit. I don't have your. Uh, I don't, here we go. Actually, what was your numbers here? Who won? Was unwilling to quit? Yeah. So unwilling to quit is now top of the uh, Noxus side. By the way, with seven points. Good yeah, job, I'm you two Q. Quit. Yay! You two Q. You too cute, girl. Mm -mm. I keep on thinking I'm on camera, but I'm not, so I can relax. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it looks like we're not going to be able to get a uh, an ARAM in with y'all because there's just not enough, question mark? If you are in for an ARAM with us, say something. We need eight, or at least three, so you, Sasha, and I can be on your team. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, one more. I don't have friends to play with. Well, we're your friends, man, so don't you worry about it. <laughs> it does, Poison TV. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Mm. Nice. 18 or older, ARAM. Nice, yes. <laughs> I don't even know if Thunderdog Esports can do at What level do you have to be to play an ARAM? Or does it uh, count for champions? Uh, I I actually don't know. That's a very good question. Sweet, I can. All right. However, shout out to proceeding for playing Pokemon. My girlfriend plays Pokemon. That's hey, all I have to say about that. If if you <laughs> want to join the ARAM, please add me on League of Legends. It's uh, Thunderdog Space ES. Well, how about this? I'll go ahead and create an ARAM. I'll invite you, Rhetoric. You'll be captain of Team 2. I'll be captain of Team 1. And then we will invite. We will invite random people. Okay. Are you playing on that one? Okay, yeah. that's fine, too. All right. I will. Let's see. Do, do, All right, do, so do, can do, you... do, do, I should have made it because I have a lot of people on here that were on here. Uh, okay. Astra, Astra Lysix, Astra Lysix. I'll go ahead and invite him. All right, uh, Gunbay. Overgrows. Oh, I'm inviting Gunby. <laughs> uh, Overgrows. <laughs> Overgrows. Can you spell that? Can you type that out for me? It's over and then grows. G R O W S. Good thing it doesn't undergrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stay, stay with me, Gumby. <laughs> All right, we need four more. So. Let's see. Try to get. Lacteasy, Flotza, Darian No, Aatrox, Belmont, Renoa, TSG Hooked, Probiotics, Yap Matter, get all those. Just invite them. Okay. All. Hey, proceeding, what's their in game name? Overgrows. Over oh, okay. And then Renoa, did you want to come join us? I don't know. I don't know. Kick him! <laughs> 
Burn him. <laughs> yeah. I'm level five, but I'm the best. I, I don't see. even know what champions I have on this account. <laughs> do we have any more rhetoric? Looks like a couple uh, of do, unwilling to do oh, Flotza, Lacteezy, L A C T E E Z Y. User disconnected from your channel. Do Flotza, F L O T S A. Oh, got it. Mm -hmm. Do T S G space hooked. Doopy doopy doo, a thunder dog. <laughs> Flossa really wants that Ezra pick. <laughs> User entered your channel. User, I entered your channel. That's heartbreaking, Renoa. It's I'm, okay. I'm sad about that. Uh, Invite here this. Thanks for joining us tomorrow, Defender. I hope you did a good job defending tomorrow. Yeah. We're trying to find about three more people to join us. Who would like to play? Oh, I'm I'm getting oh I'm, I wasn't even paying attention to the chat. <laughs> People just just spamming stuff. So do you, how does my new mic sound, everyone? Do I sound better? Do I sound worse? Do I sound the same? Do I sound like a photoshopped Asian with eight beaters? Just about to throw your picture up here again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to fill this area in with people from my friends list. Are we ready? Yeah. We we are waiting. What level do I get, Pidgeotto? We can get three people. Come on. Let's yeah. ground Jamala. Yeah, you too, Koo. It's just, we have to practice. We don't like to play games with you guys. Tic Tac Fresh, why don't you get on here and play an ARAM with us? Andrea, if you're watching the stream, you should get on also and come join us in ARAM. Overgrows, we. Uh, we can't let you invite. There's no option to do that, I don't think, unless you become, like, owner of the game or something. But... You, can, you can post his name. Oh, never mind. Well, fine. Oh, there's one. Two Come more. Over. Come over here, Andrea. Join us. Don't, don't. Yes, Andrea. Yeah, leave him. <laughs> yes. I have EZ on my team, so.
Ned Dorian. Forget Nito Ran. Nito Ran. <laughs> How do we know Probiotic? If he, he's one of he's, the. Uh... He's a team cap team captain for um, insert name here. All right, I'm putting on some music. I like that idea. Or I can sing. I, I mean, there's that option. Nope, I got something. Ten hours of elevator music. Does Ten hours have... of elevator <laughs> music. <laughs> Nothing's better than... Elevator music. I could stand in this elevator all day. Alright, how about this? One of us move over to the opposite team. We'll just do a 4v4. Okay. This is horrible. I gotta change this music. I vote Gunbay to go over. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Flotsa, there is no Ezreal. I would give him to you if I could. You can see who we have. Oh. oh, I just changed it. I found a Yasashi. It's a Yasashi. A wild Yasashi appeared. Man. You guys are in trouble. The Sona pick. Mm. Da -da -da -da. Do boy, I love you so. But yeah, come Monday, you guys should tell all your friends to come tune in. We'll have some fun. We'll stream a couple matches for you guys and get closer to the end of the tournament. It'll be awesome. And there's my face again. And it keeps leaving and entering the screen. <laughs> Alright, so the plan is we all focus gun bait. Okay. And then we go for rhetoric. Right. Sound good, guys? Or, you know, we can just have a free for all and go after hey, everyone at the same up. time. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. It's like getting poked on TeamSpeak. Yep. Hey, wake up. So, I've been playing this game lately. It's called a Hawken. And it's addicting. I swear. It's like you just run around in the mech and shoot people all day long. Sounds like fun. Uh, I'm having difficulties tearing myself away from it. Oh, yes. I have Jinx song playing in the background. Deep. Shh, they're in that bush. Shh. Oh, oh, here's the they, they won't know. Oh, oh, ah, ah, Flotza! Can't catch me! Hetcha! Hetcha! Someone's at the tip of that bush. Everyone, watch out! 
Don't go there. No, Vlad, back up. <laughs> Stop them from damaging Vlad. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. No! Oh man! <laughs> and there goes the rhetoric. I took that spear like a boss. I believe there's another word that starts with B that was more appropriate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No! Kaboom! <laughs> oh, I couldn't save Astrolytics. I'm so sad. Rhetoric, you're gonna die. I'm gonna bite you with my chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm gonna use frozen domain to close a gap and I'm gonna put a pillow behind her back. No, gotta stop Flotsa. No, he can't go. You know, I'm kind of sad for Sona in the upcoming patch because she's sort of getting nerfed. She's gonna have less damage, and that that breaks my heart. <clears throat> yeah. However, the cool thing is that all the supports will now have scaling crowd control, so that'll pretty that'll be pretty cool. One more, one more, so no! Oh my god, you're back! Beloved you! Hey, is, is my microphone popping? No, man, it's great. It sounds awesome. I'm, I'm very glad. Is it a step up from my other mic? Yes. <clears throat> I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped to play with this. On top of that, Andrea, are, can you hear me, Andrea? This uh, this microphone, or this interface has the ability to connect to keyboards. So all we need to do is get the 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 cord for a MIDI the MIDI interface, and yeah. Well, right now I believe that Riot is having some problems with the servers. So everyone, there's been lag spikes throughout games, depending on people. Ah. 
The tribe is waiting. I'm Trundle. Chomp away at the tower. <laughs> oh man, there goes Flotza on that Akali. Ah, gotta stop him. <laughs> the trolls coming after you. Good thing that we're not all AP or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the same problem on our side too, so yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Double Kile. So the, the weirdest thing happened, the, the Kindle gem was 850 originally and then for a couple days it went to 950 and then went back back down to 850 does anyone know why nope. very very strange no oh, run run friend I tried, I'm sorry. <laughs> go, go, get the sauna, go, go, get ah uh, no, 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 like go, go, I can't you get <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Astrolytics is just going after you, man. I know. <laughs> bloodthirsty, <laughs> jerk. It's funny because he's bloodthirsty and he's playing Vlad. That's true. Vlad. <laughs> Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna bring this around. I'd like to see you try. Now! Stop throwing. I'm not happy with you, Andrea. <laughs> gotta run, gotta run. Oh! Man! oh sick. In the mouth. I'm coming after you, Rhetoric. I'm coming after you. <laughs> you died. Oh, really, Flotsa? So, did they did they intend on on increasing the price? I think they did, but I don't know. That was weird. That was a weird time for Kindle Gym. How did he? How did Microsendo not hit him? It's because it wasn't a diminuendo. Oh, okay. It's ten hours of jink music. Never ends. That trundle is so MR heavy. <laughs> Don't even care. Oh! No, go Choga! Ah! Talk to Trims with the bite! <laughs> nom 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 nom. Smith like something died in here. I love the shopkeepers in this map. I can't wait till the other <laughs> shopkeepers in Summoner's Rift get like a visual update because they're ugly. Escape by a collie there. I thought I had a trap. <laughs> Feel go crescendo. Very fun, guys. Good game. Good game. Many fun. Much fun. Such game. Many, many play. La la la. Wow. Anyways, I think we are done for the night. <clears throat> yep, that'll do. Thanks for joining us, guys. Come again Monday. Come catch us at, you know, the typical here at Thunderdog Esports <laughs> Twitch TV, you know. 9 same PM. bad time, same bad channel. Mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Eastern, that's 8 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. on the other end of the world. He's learning. I'm ah! learning. I'm learning 
your sashi face. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Cool. But anyways, you know, again, follow me at twitter.com slash yes I, I always pause there i don't know why i have to like gather my thoughts on what my my twitter name is but it's twitter.com slash yasashi underscore lol <laughs> red's trying to point you uh, it, <laughs> it's the one in the monocle <laughs> you see my flag over there monocle as a a permanent thingy thing no i really like it <laughs>